Hey, what's up you guys? This is Brother Mala. And you guys, today I wanted to bring you a little test that I'm doing pretty much for myself. You guys, I'm using the M4A1 and I have three different underbarrels on the gun. Now initially I had made three different guns with all kind of different customizations and all. But for the purpose of this test, you guys, I put everything exactly the same on the gun, which is the, uh, for the muzzle, we put the monolithic suppressor. For the optic, we put the 4.0 flip hybrid. The rear grip is the, what is it? Stipled grip tape. The magazine is a 60 round mag. And the underbarrel on this one is a Ranger grip. All right, you guys, let me see here. This is the first gun. Okay, on the second one, you guys, it's exactly the same, except we have the operator grip for the underbarrel. And on the third one, we have the Merc foregrip as the underbarrel. And as you can see, everything else is exactly the same, you guys. So basically what I'm gonna be testing for today is just the steadiness of the weapon. You guys, um, not really gonna focus so much on gameplay or the map or all that, okay? Uh, we are playing the Caldera Clash simply because it is something that lets you respawn, uh, where you could get a whole lot of testing in, in one game opposed to Trying to do a test with one death and having to restart the, the test would take all day you guys So this is a good way to test this weapon um, Like I said the the main focus of this video is gonna be to see how steady The gun is not so much my performance as a player <laughs> Or as an entertainer or anything like that you guys so I do want to enjoy my game with that being said, okay? We have three guns, so of course we're going to have to do a little bit of gameplay, you guys. So we're going to test out the guns and stuff like that and try to play with them. I'm probably only going to bring you one match because the sole purpose of this video, you guys, is to test the guns. Now, for whatever reason, you know, say we test them, whatever, we go into the next one, we're having a good match and we don't go through all of them. Then maybe I'll play a second one, but you guys, I'm not that good to last 15 minutes with one weapon. So, let's see how this goes. This should be a short video, you guys. But, um, like I said, if you're watching this uh, live, you guys, go ahead and leave a comment. Uh, I, could see your, I could see your comments here live and I could respond to you. And if you're watching this on YouTube, you guys, just uh, skip forward to the beginning of the match so we could start the, the testing, you guys. We'll go ahead and take a little break uh, from talking and all that uh, until the game starts, you guys. I will be back for the for the what's it called practice because I do want to get some of that practice in to kind of like see how it's going and I could give you and I'll probably be able to give you a result by the end. I mean, yes, I'm very familiar with this one. I really like uh, this gun. I'll probably be able to give you a uh, my quick assessment of which one I think is better. Because you guys, like I said, the whole reason I'm doing this test is because I did notice a big difference. One of my guns was swaying a lot more. And I think I know which one it is. And I think I know which one would be the better uh, ore grip, you guys. But I was going to have to test them. And I just figured if I have to test them, I might as well uh, bring it to you guys so that you guys could uh, know exactly what I'm testing. And which one you guys should probably go with uh, yourself, you know. So let's see here let's start with a quick test i want to see you see where the x is and how it moves up and down so let's just say we aim at that thing right center okay and we're not moving anything but you you see how it goes from center to right and it just kind of circles around okay another thing is when we shoot down the middle See that pattern that is taking how it's going up all right you guys and it could be a, a a variety of different things you know it could it could also be the suppressor that could change it i mean we could run test on that too but um right now all we're doing is just testing that uh that uh that four grip all right you guys so let's just play with the first one okay 
and uh, we're gonna play with this until until we get some kind of uh, how can I say mm, you know a little bit of a feel for it there you go you know just a little feel for for how it works and stuff and then we'll move on to the next one and so on and so forth but right now you guys I'm gonna need to pay a little bit of attention Let's see here. You know, I'm gonna have to get a little bit closer to you guys. I like to stay back and kind of snipe sometimes and look out, but I let the I let the snipers handle that. I'm gonna try to move in a little bit more. Like I said, we're not so focused on. Pulled down too much on that one though. You know, um, there is a small amount of sway to it, like I showed you guys in the beginning. Uh, okay. But, uh, I still think, like, this gun, it doesn't hit very hard. You know, it's focused more on accuracy, so if you take little bursts like that, you guys, it's it's very accurate. Uh, yeah, and especially from far, even with the little sway, as you could see, I could really, uh, kind of really almost pinpoint... Uh, where I want to shoot. So I'm not finding it too too bad with this one, you guys. Alright, I'm going to have to move from here. I don't like it here. one on this side <laughs> all right well, we only have 11 more bullets on this one so we're gonna have to switch guns while <laughs> or find some ammo There we go, we got some ammo. Alright, cool. Whoa! Oh no! Come on, reload. Oh, what happened? Oh, this happened. It wasn't so much the reload thing. But now we're gonna need plates, you guys. Go get some plates. This one right at the door. Hold on a second, let me put some plates on. Ooh, and there's one right here too. Ooh, jeez. 
Look at the one at the door. Ah, I think he's down. My partner's in there. Alright, I'm gonna go for A, you guys. It looks like they got B. Well, that was a good run, you guys. Yeah. So I would say the first one, which I believe is the operator's one. Let's take a quick look here. Um, oh, the first one is the rangers. And that's the one that we were using, right? The first one. All right, the first one's good, you guys. Let's see. This one, uh, it would be really hard for me to tell which one I'm kind of using, you guys. I, although I did pick this one, sometimes it doesn't really change into it. I'm pretty sure there is the one now. But you see, you guys, I don't know if it's me. But this one has a whole lot more sway. Even from afar, I feel that it, 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 uh, it sways a lot more. But let's, let's just see how we do with this one. And you know what, you guys, sometimes, you know, you just get a, a good, um, lucky try. So with that first one, you guys, I would say whether it was luck or whatever, you know, if I could get, if I could play half as good as that, uh, anytime, I'd be happy with that. So I am happy with the first one. Let's see. Ooh. I would like to stay and fight with them, but I need to fight with these guys too right here. And we could go worry about those guys. Alright. Yeah, I do feel it a little jumpy. Not as steady. But like I said, let's let's give that one a uh uh can uh, try there, you know. It's fighting over A is it's, uh, it's pretty hard. <laughs> Everybody's going there, you know. All right, so somebody took A. I think it was the other team that took A. Alright, you guys, like I said, I, re I really want to give two one more chance. But we're not going to jump in trying to catch C like that because that was just dumb. <laughs> Alright. I'm just going to take a quick look with this one. Yeah, so have you seen the way the first one looked? 
compared to this one i do feel like there's just a bit more sway so i i think i'm about ready to try the third one you guys let's see Yeah, overall, like I said, I don't know if it, if it's just me. Let's let's go for number three real quick. Okay. All right, so this one's number three, you guys, and like I said, I really would like to give number three a couple of tries too. But let's take a quick look. Look at that, you guys. You see, there is sway, but I. I, f I, I feel like it's a little bit closer like the first one on the first one uh, this one is kind of like right there I think the other one would do just a little bit more of, of this like it would come up this way and it would like move like this much and still it was pretty steady so let's try this one you guys Yeah, you see, I do, I do see a difference in this. Now, you guys, um, another thing that I would like to see. Okay, I'm gonna play around with this one a little bit too. Like I told you, it's not just uh, testing it out. It's about which one I like more about playing too. Uh, that was like the test that I was trying to run, and that's the test that I'm bringing to you guys. I think we're doing pretty good with this. Um, so it's pretty nice to see the the top two that are that are or that scene that are gonna perform the best yeah this looks really nice you guys it's just like you can even feel it it's just tighter you know what i mean like it's tight. it has a tighter tighter feel to it so like i said these are the top two uh even though i didn't do so good on that one like i did on the first one and what I would like to do is just go ahead and play a whole nother one game. Okay, and then just kind of alternate between the first and the second one. And see which one feels better, you know, because we only have one more minute left on this. And we, we actually did complete our test in, in one. We know this feels good. We know the other one feels good too. I just want to know which one is the one that I'm going to keep on my weapon. Oh! And like I said, you know, one one good gameplay does not really make up for... You know, for a good accurate test, you know? So we have to uh, just put a little bit more testing into it because... After I set this one up, you guys, I am going to keep the gun like this. This is a gun that I have been using. Oh, jeez. Not a good way to end it. I've seen all three of them there. I've seen at least three. Yeah, you see? And that one got me. I mean, it looked cool, though. It looked cool. <laughs> uh, well, you guys, that, that was a, a pretty interesting test. We're just going to go ahead and play again. Yes on that. Okay, so you guys, like I tell you, I do like the way three feels. But like I tell you, you know, there's just some things that you just can't avoid. You know, like when somebody comes up behind you and shoots you, or you know, when you're looking at three people and one of them's looking at you, and you're paying attention to all three of them. You know, it's like, you know, looks pretty cool and all that. But um. I mean, yeah, well, it did look cool and all that, but it just doesn't really help the test. So, this is what we're going to do. We're going to start off with three, all right, and we're going to try to get a, a good gameplay with three. 
All right, because I do believe it's, it's pretty nice. Um, then I'll just kind of switch over to one so we could like really get a good um, test on it and just kind of alternate, you know, keep going back between, uh, what was it, one and three. We should just get rid of, of two, but um, we'll just keep alternating and then we'll see which one is better, you guys. We'll stick with that one. And, um, you know, as far as, as far as, um, actually, yeah, we'll just stick to that, you guys. And then we can run another, uh, test on the suppressors. See if there's a difference. Um, and then we could also, well, not really. I think the optic, you guys, the optic. We'll just leave that one up to you, you guys. Well, we're not doing those tests today, like I said. We're just running these tests. But we'll leave the optic up to you, you guys, because I do use a really long optic. It's not my favorite one, you guys, because it does toggle over uh, to a pinpoint. I do believe the pinpoint one is better, you guys. However, I can't see, so for me, it's not better. So like I said, you know, the, the, the side thing that would be more of a preference thing what you could use and with you know how how good are you able to see you know <laughs> that's up to you so we're just going to continue with this test um like i said we're going to alternate between one and three and uh i'm gonna start off with three we said right all right so this is just the training and we froze already how do you like that Alright, you guys, I'm gonna drink some water so I could bring you my findings. I kind of like that it, it it jumps up and down a little bit, but look at that. Well, I, I I really do like the way that it that that one handles. Three is pretty nice, you guys. Uh, you know what? We're gonna. Like I said, we're going to keep alternating between 3 and 1. So let's try this again. On 1. It, it does take a minute to climb. Alright. Now let's try 3 when we come back in. So we're going to do two tests. One short right here with the long press. You see, you guys, look, it, it is. Okay, look, when we come back in, we're going to come into into right here. Okay, we're going to go right past the bush and you'll see this. All I'm doing is pressing the say I'm going to stand as straight as I can. Press this uh, to look and then I'm just going to hold the trigger. I'm not holding the none of the joystick. Okay. And as you can see, look, it's pretty much following the same pattern. It goes up and to the right a little bit. And that's pretty much what it's following. Just from a, a straight uh, hold position. And it does the same thing. It just goes up on that one on right there. And we're pretty much like at the corner. So let's see if we could just... Uh, you know what? Actually, let's do this so that we could complete our test a little faster. All right. Oh, we should have just had some fun just run in and try to shoot her. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> So look, let's put one so like that we don't forget <laughs> and make sure that it goes in the way it should. Uh, all right, come on.
Let's see here. We already have our the one we want. Alright, so this is the same red house right here. The same car that was there. Now we're on loadout one, okay? So let's look at that. Okay. Now we're gonna do the same thing, okay, you guys? We're gonna start. Let's just start right here so we could give ourselves some space. We're gonna do the same thing. Look straight forward as forward as we can. Uh, don't do nothing, just hold. Let's try this again. We were supposed to hold this one, right? Okay. Uh, you guys, I really, as far as like. I really don't see a difference, you guys. It just looks like... The other one probably had a little bit more of a curve, like... Like this, maybe, like... Kinda almost like an S shape up. It didn't completely curve this way. This one just kinda has, like, a slight slant. Uh, this one right here I didn't aim, so it just throws a... But I mean, if you if you see, it's not too bad. All right, so let's just try that far one over there. Oh, we ran out of bullets, so we weren't able to do that one. But you guys, if I had to guess, and we'll do the test anyways because guessing is not really testing, but. We'll do the test, and I'm pretty sure that it's going to behave uh, very similarly. Let's see if we could get some... Well, it don't matter. Even if we did get bullets, you guys. We need to go back to that spot to perform the test a little bit better. I really like to use the, the other one too. Both of them. I like to use both of them. And that's why I'm, I'm testing this one out. So that's why I'm mainly trying to use this one for the moment. Down. Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad, you guys. And if you and if you guys uh, uh, really like, I said, you know. Uh, that was, that's without me just, uh, the, the testing that I showed you, that was without me really trying to control the recoil. Because if you pull back on the recoil, uh, slightly, you know, if you just slightly pull back on it, it's pretty accurate. Alright, so here we go. Here's the red house right here.
All right, and we're gonna chest right there. So just about here, and we should end up somewhere up here. Yeah. So this is what we're gonna do, you guys. I think. Um, actually. Just like I said, you know, just to be really fair and have a really good comparison. We're going to do, once again, we're just going to run down the middle here. See if we could respawn back there. And what we're going to do is just go for two, which is the one that I that I told you just off testing in the field. I didn't like that much. We're going to test it against that building just to get that, you know. So we know it's between one and three and then after that you guys when we go back into the main menu when we go back into the main menu what we're gonna see is uh basically what is the difference you know like does it make your gun faster is it uh is the aim down speed faster what what is the difference between one and three what are the the pros and cons of each one because they perform as far as uh their handling um, or, or or yeah uh, their sway their sway is pretty much the same Okay, that was pretty good. Hey. Alright, let's get back to uh to what we were doing here. So we already picked three, right? Let's just make sure. I'm sorry, two, two. We got two already. Let's pick it again. Where's this red house? We lost the red house. All right, there it is. All right, we got four minutes. So you guys, I think this should be good enough for testing if we could just get this one in. And like we said, all we're gonna do is aim down the middle, just hold and shoot. You see, I think it has it, it has more of a lean to it. I think instead of a. The other one just kind of looks more straight up, kind of. It does curve. It has more of a straight up. Okay, we start right there in the middle. And we end up about the same. You guys, they're all pretty good. I just don't know why I feel like this one just has a little bit more way to it I don't know if it's just me um but for as far as my preference go I would go with one and three you guys so I'm just gonna go ahead and try try to have fun for the rest of these three minutes uh play this game and um you know what uh I don't know maybe I'm just I'm just kind of like uh I really like the way that that the beginning of the game started with number one so I'm like oh yeah number one's definitely better but you guys I would really play with either one one or three um, like I said I'm just gonna take a quick look at uh, what the pros and cons are at the end of this so in about three minutes I'll have a, a, a good result for you guys right now let's just try to enjoy the, the gameplay or like I said you guys we are on YouTube 
So if you want to get your results in about in about three to four minutes, you know, in about in about two minutes or so, you could skip forward the last two minutes, and uh, you'll you'll see your results. Let's see, everybody's over here. Oh, look, there's points right behind us too. Look. Oh, perfect. All right. All right. Okay, you guys. Sorry about that. I just wanted to give you a little live update you know i didn't want to go ahead and cut it and stuff all this is just raw testing like i say you know just gameplay you know from a real player not so much of a <laughs> heavy editor just yet you guys i'm i'm working on that for you so let's go to edit loadout and we'll see here on number one we have a uh, the ranger four grip you guys and it has good recoil control, aiming speed, where those are the pros and the cons on it is the aiming, walking movement speed, and aim down side speed. I like the aim down side speed because sometimes you need that uh, when you're playing a little bit closer. So let's try, let's try, let's look at number three. So this one right here, Extended, um, extended foregrip reduces vertical recoil and provides stability from the hip for fast paced guerrilla tactics. There's recoil control, which is good, plus hip fire accuracy. Alright, but the uh, same, same thing, you know, aim walking speed and the aim down side speed. Uh, so they seem to be pretty much the same, you guys. Let's uh, let's take a quick look again. Let's go back to one. So this one says uh, it's a standard four grips, improves vertical recoil, and stabilizes weapon while aiming for improved long range combat. Okay, I see. So recoil control and aiming stability. All right, you guys. So I do like the hip fire thing because that's like for for a close range type of thing. Um, as you've seen, sometimes I do like to run in and stuff like that, and and sometimes you just you just do, you know. But um, most of the time, you guys, me personally. I would prefer to shoot long range as you could see like just kind of like you know um, sometimes like I say you know you, you just kind of have to this gun is really good overall uh, I would personally go with this one right here you guys I think I think that's why maybe I did a little bit better despite the fact that it was a little bit of luck combined to you know what I mean but I will go with this one, you guys. And just for fun, I just want to take a quick look at this one. Why was it so different than the other ones, as far as I feel? So, there's recoil control, which is good. But it says, no frills for grips. Helps control vertical recoil for faster follow-up shots. And that's recoil control. Alright. So, like I said, overall, you guys, it's not that it was really bad, you know. It was... It was really good, you know. And the only cons to this is is the aim down side speed. So to tell you the truth, I really have no idea why I personally feel. And what made me make this test was that I felt that this one right here sways a lot more. Although I really didn't see too much of a difference, except for when I'm reading the the what's it called? What's up here? The I don't know, I guess you would say the description of the foregrip itself. Um, when you're reading that, 
you see that this one, you know, it, it improves stabilize uh, improves the vertical recoil, stabilizes the what the weapon while aiming, you know, for long range for improved long range combat. Now you guys I think that's what made me feel a whole lot better about this. And if it's for long range, you know, it's not just it's not just like the other one, it's like no frills. This one I guess the frill on this one is the long range shot. The close range is it's not gonna be too bad. I mean if it does good at long range at close range is gonna do pretty well too I'm supposing you know um, being that this one and number three do not have a good aim down sight speed um, yeah so overall you guys I'm picking oh sorry I'm picking uh, this one number one is gonna be my winner right here which is the Ranger Ford grip you guys well I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making this video for you you guys uh, please remember to like, share, subscribe to the channel, you guys, and most importantly, leave a comment below. Let me know how you like this video um, and what else you would like to see on the channel or anything you wanted to say to me, guys. Just leave it in the comment below. I'm really good about responding. Uh, we're trying to get to the 10,000 subscribers for right now, you guys, so we could get that silver play button. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.